Hey everybody, how are you? Happy, happy, happy Thursday. I have my hair band in my, in my hair. Um, hope everybody's doing good. I hope uh, everybody's happy and healthy. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on here. We have um, mask mandates that are actually been lifted um, for airlines, but yet on certain transportations, there seems to be a confusion. I don't know what the hell the confusion is. I mean, you either feel like wearing the mask or you don't wear the mask. You know, it's more of a relaxed thing now. It is totally, they are basically saying it's totally up to you. But at certain areas and certain forms of transportations, they do require you to still continue to wear your mask. Okay. Everybody on the, I was watching the, um, the evening news and they were, well, I'm confused. I, what the hell are you confused over? You either wear it or you don't wear you want. You feel like wearing it. If there's a sign that says we do, you know, appreciate if you do, you know, wear your mask, it's, it's a, you know, it's, you know, the rules here, then by all means, I'm going to continue to use mine because I just don't trust anything. Numbers here now in New York City, as of this morning, they did their thing and the numbers are starting to rise again. So, um, our mayor said, no, you don't have to do it. Then somebody else said, yeah. Then the governor says, well, you know, we're lifting it, but we have to be cautious. It's either you do or you don't, you know. Um, what else? Had an interesting day yesterday. I can't just do anything or we can't just do anything such as a home improvement as far as just doing the home improvement without having an issue. Just the men come, do what they have to do, and then swoosh out. This wasn't the case. Wouldn't be me if I didn't, <laughs> if we didn't have a problem. My husband was here yesterday. Um, guys came to do my dry event. My, my poor dry event. Um, well, anyway, he pulled the machine out and everything. And he goes to put the hooks up his hose to the connector that after you take my um, dry event hose out, you know, you see the hole. Then he puts his hose there and he blows out, you know, the remaining portion of the lint and whatever the hell have you. Um, he was having a problem because it was kind of like the air would go through and then it would kind of resist to where the air is actually not going anywhere. So he then decides that he's going to try it manual, put the brushes, connecting brushes after brush, you know, the, the long stick. He's connected the stick, the stick, the stick. He went up at least about, he tried to go at least 20 feet. He couldn't get past 18 feet. He says there is a blockage. Would not be me if I didn't have a blockage. Trying to make the story as the ending as come as close to the beginning as possible. Um, turns out that the blockage we have came to the decision the blockage is not from my end. Okay. Listen, these things have not been done in two years. That I will say because of the pandemic, we nobody could get appointments last year because nobody was working last year. Okay, fine. Totally, totally understandable. Um, but I will say, that not to, you know, just to rat anybody out, but I will just to get the conversation, you know, to more of a point that so that you understand. That same situation happened two years ago when I first did this dryer also, when we first relocated here. So there was a problem from the get-go. Okay. Um, he also has problems with the washing machine. What are you gonna do? Um, you know, people have things, people may not have the money to do the home repairs. People may not, I get it, I get it, you know? I mean, I, do I feel bad in a way? Kind of, yeah, but there is some sort of sympathy that kind of goes away from me because I'm saying, at the same time, I'm trying to better my castle and other people are interfering with how I'm doing things just because maybe they don't want to do things or they can't do things. So now I had to get my management involved. 
spoke to my um, my good person in the management uh, on the management team, and you know she reassured me, hook or crook, that has to be done. His has to be done. Um, we explained my situation. She says, oh, hell no. I says, but, you know, maybe he can't, you know, do it. Or she says, but he has no choice. Those were her words. He has no choice. It's the law. You have to clean out your dry events. And we are, what's today? The 21st. We have until the 31st to actually do this. So he basically has like another 10 days. Okay. I can only be sympathetic for so long. I was also suggested that I not use my dryer now. Kind of hold off. And that was suggested to me by the people who, you know, came yesterday. It's very hard because I'm in the middle. I want to do spring cleaning. I want to take off my couch covers now and I wanted to. I says, oh, good. I had this whole list of things that I wanted to do when this thing gets done, as anybody would. You have these, you know, your your little list in your head you want to check off. I want to do my couch covers. But now I can't do them for now. For now. I'll give it another 10 days. <laughs> From now, okay. So far we have maybe nine days. Okay, fine. Um... That was the situation yesterday. Um, if you guys know about your properties, about your thing, I mean, this is a condo, so it's a little bit different. It's not a personal, it's not a personal house or anything. So you know, everybody has to be responsible for their section. Totally, totally understandable. We're trying. We're also on the ground floor, so we. I was actually we were joking back and forth, me and the lady for the magic. I says, I get all the fun stuff. I'm on the ground floor. She says, yeah, that's, you know, that's sometimes that's how it works. <laughs> she said, oh, I said, yeah, I'm like at the ass end of everybody else's problems. But, um, could I have, if the tables were in reverse, could I do this to somebody else? I, 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 I couldn't, I would have to, that's it. Gotta get, gotta get done. That's how I am. Um, you know, three weeks ago, we had the situation. I had a situation with a boiler that got fixed. Okay, it took three days to get fixed and three days of the boiler men coming to try and figure out what the hell it was. We got it. It's done. It's just something to do. Um, it's just something that you have to do. It's your responsibility, especially when you own property. You know, how do you guys feel about it? Let, let me know. Does anybody own, own property and... You do have to deal with neighbors and, you know, it's not a nasty thing. It's not a nasty neighbor thing, you know, um, just, you know, I mean, you can't force anybody, but, you know, management now gets involved and management will have to do that. Now, um, we all received letters in order to, you know, to pick the day to do this and you have a certain amount of time. That's great. It keeps everybody informed. It keeps everybody on their toes. You know, you have... There is an issue that needs to be done. You have to do it. And they want to see copies of the work order, you know, and, and the, the, the paying, you know, that you pay to have it. And by no means does the management company want you to do this themselves. Cause you, I can't do this. You know, it's not going to be done. It has to be done professional. And, um, yeah, you know, and, um, it also states in the letter whether he got it or not, I don't know. Whether other people got it, I don't know. I got it delivered to my house, the letter. Came in my mailbox. Um, that if you do not do it, you know, there will be a fine. Because they want to see proof that you've done it. And we know for a fact that the neighbor didn't do it. Because it's not on file yet. So, But then again, he has another 10 days. So... I just hope and pray that I will have my dryer back within 10 days because I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I, I washed some clothes today. I did two loads of um, jackets, sweatshirts, pants. Those things I can actually hang up to dry, so that's fine. You know, and a lot of my husband's stuff that I don't put in the dryer anyway. We just don't. It just, it, it's just, you know, I, I think it gets a better... Um, 
uh, a better drying, it smells more fresher, you know, sometimes when you do that. Um, the gentleman, the serviceman actually took the liberty, he didn't have to do it, he cracked open the front of my dryer and he actually cleaned out the front of my dryer. He didn't have to do that, that's actually a separate fee. Thank you for that because he says, this is on me. Those were his words. And God bless him for doing it. I said, I said, I appreciate it. He said, yeah. He says, there's nothing wrong with your drawer. And he assured me that. He says, but it has to be a fail. And the inspection has to be a fail because of the other situation. And that's, to me, that's not fair. That I have to, you know. But I'm going to breathe. I'm not going to get that aggravated right now. I can't do it. We will see what goes on. And that's really it on my, that was my yesterday. Just when you want something, do you ever want something on your day to go smooth and you expect it to go smoothly? You say, oh, this is a great day. Now we had a great day the day before. So I guess we were setting up to fail <laughs> the next day. It's all fun and games until, you know, until the inevitable happens. Um, but yeah, that was my Wednesday. My husband was here and I'm like, oh. <laughs> and that's another thing. Um, me as a woman, now, I handle myself very well. You know, I'm not I'm not a scaredy cat or anything. I'm not, not too much, but... Sometimes, like, if a uh, repairman or something would come into the home, I need, I would like my husband home to do those things. So that's why I wait for him to, you know, have a day off or something. It just makes me feel better. And this, this also that if I have to make an executive decision on something, that he's actually involved in this. So he would be here to understand that I don't have to explain it to him if he's at work or, you know, because you can't really talk too much on that. Um, yeah. Also, my husband got, um, great news. This is why we had a good Tuesday. Ooh, bing. This is why we had a good Tuesday going into yesterday. <laughs> um, my husband's, um, union for his, um, he's a, um, a serviceman. He is a, um, hospitality. He's in the hospitality business. He's a, he's a, he's a doorman, door person. And, um, they had a, uh, we, the city almost went on strike as far as Tuesday evening at midnight, it would have actually started. So we were like really on pins and needles for that. Not too much stuff was said on the news. And I always, I usually take to Twitter for these, like I, like I was explaining to you about Twitter. Uh, my Twitter thing is, has to do with music and bands, but every so often, you know, something needs to be said. I will tag the company and or person and or musician and or boss and or, you know. And in this case, I um, tagged the my husband's union and union representatives and the one of the heads of the union. And I um, kind of had a heartfelt post. And I didn't expect the reaction that I had gotten um, Monday night. That's when I wrote it. I woke up Tuesday morning. We're still on pins and needles because it would be 12, um, 11.59 or 12.01 Tuesday night, which would have been the start of a strike. Um, they went down to the wire on this. And I wrote a heartfelt post on Twitter and, and it got a lot of likes and it actually got retweeted and it actually got liked by the union themselves, um, the representative themselves. And a lot of many other people actually made other comments. You know, hi, I'm a doorman from so and so, and you know, and they and and that's the interaction that I that I that I really enjoy. I really felt like a level of respect because somebody else out in the world heard me and they agreed with me and and they gave me you know all this. Um, positive feedback and positive attention which which I think is wonderful and um when it was over and we actually got word way before 12 midnight we actually got it um late Tuesday afternoon the information came in that everything was going to be okay 
uh, my husband and all the workers, all the, you know, they were essential workers. Now, my husband worked with many of his co-workers in his building, you know, doorman building. Um, he works for an upscale building. And um, many of his co-workers, they actually, you know, worked very hard through this pandemic. They never saw any bonuses, nothing like that. They just did their job. They put their masks on every day. I'm sitting here like with my heart in my mouth, wondering if this man is going to come home sick or he, God, God, knock on, knock on wood. Knock on wood. That, that never happened. And um, neither is his co-workers. I think one or two did. They, they. They contracted something, but they were well taken, you know, they were taken care of. They took the right precautions and everything was okay. Um, they're going to see some raises. Um, their vacations stay the same, which everybody was worried about because the vacation um, days would have been taken away. Um, sick time, sick pay, you know, sick, sick leave. Um, the days would have been shorter that you take sick days. Um, all that stuff was in question. And... Um, all that seems to have been uh, resolved and taken care of. So that was like really good news for Tuesday. Really good news. Uh, we, we couldn't, you know, I even congratulated my husband. And, and after that on Twitter that I took back, I went back on Twitter and I took the screenshot of the information that was given from the union and I posted it and I says, on behalf of my husband and congratulations to all you workers and you worked very hard for this and I'm very happy. And again... I got some great feedback and great positive vibes from that. So that's, that really made my day, you know, and I showed my husband and, you know, it was, re it was really cool to, to, to see good things, you know? So, you know, again, I do other things besides Disney. There's, you know, my life does not revolve around all, I have other things that are going on, other things that are going on in the world. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that was the Tuesday and then the Wednesday with the dry situation. So, <laughs> so we went from ha ah, to, ah. but um, we will get through it. So that was good news. We are waiting for our 60 day mark so that we could make our reservations for our dining. Um, my husband does want me to try for the Cinderella's world table. He said, I, I wanted, I wanted to, I said, okay, you want to do it? We'll do it. We'll, we'll, I'll try for it. I'll try for it. The crowds down there right now are like massive. I mean, it's like everybody's complaining. Many people are complaining about the lightning lane. I mean, Hollywood Studios, as far as I know, um, I watched a few YouTube videos. I watched a few vlogger videos. And they're all saying the same thing. Like Hollywood Studios don't even go for a lightning lane for any of those rides for uh Hollywood Studios, you're probably not going to get them. It's, it's that, that park is like, again, I did it. That park is like really not great for that. So stay away from Hollywood Studios with the lightning lanes. I guess that's all I can tell you. Um, and I want to say that's really it. I'm going to be probably doing another video and I'm probably going to, I want to start assessing some of the jewelry that I will be hopefully taking on my trip. Yeah, it's paparazzi, but I want to take it. So I want to use what I use out what I purchased. So um, my um, consultant, ex-consultant has her flip side, which is the Sunshine Boutique. And she's doing wonderful with that. She's got some other new items. She's got a lot of Disney items and she's got like some Disney hair clips. And, and I'm going, oh, you know what? I could use those for something. <laughs> So we're starting in with that. Um, I have not made any purchases in well over a month. <clears throat> and to me, that's kind of, you know, but other things get in the way. So I'd rather do home repairs and and just um, enjoy what we have, you know. So it's, it's a castle. It's a castle. We got to take care of it, you know. I wish other people took care of theirs. <laughs> <laughs> But we're going to leave that right there. Um, for now, I thank you so much for watching. I thank you so much for subscribing. It's a very nice day out, but tomorrow is going to be even nicer. It's going to be in the 70s. I want to see if I can hit those. Um, I want to see if I can hit those beignets again at Popeye's. I want, I want those beignets. I really do. Um, my management company is working on 
the pool as we speak. I am in shock. I am in shock. I love it. I looked out my window yesterday. I said to my husband, hey, you, you got to see this. So we're all peeking out the window between the blinds. My husband says, are they working on the pool? I said, look, they got the pool cover off. They're scrubbing the pool. So far, they have some of the chairs that are stacked. They have the chairs stacked in the corner. Ooh, it's so exciting. That's It's one of our perks of uh, owning a cute little castle like this. We have our perks, you know? So I have my own little, my own little pool. You know, it's really cool. It's really cool. Commun you know, the building pool. But it was great last year, so I can't wait for it again this year. All right, people. Again, uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for your interactions. Um, I try to get to all of you. I try to get to as many of you as I can. Again, I have my YouTube app on my phone, so I get any notifications at that split second. If I am near my phone, which I usually am, nine times out of ten, you'll probably get a reply. All right. Thank you so much. I'll be back on. Let's see what happens about the jewelry situation. I, I just want to assess it and go through it, maybe even organize it just a little bit more. We'll see. All right, people. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.